Alrighty, boys and girls, time for chapter 8, section 4, volume of prisms. Now, first one that we're going to talk about is a rectangular prism. Now, before we talk about this in too much detail, we have to make sure that you actually understand how to find the area of a rectangle. So, the area of a rectangle is found with the equation area equals length times width. So, for example, let's say we had a rectangle here, and let's say this is 5 inches and this is 3 inches. Again, area is length times width, so that means we're going to multiply 5 inches by 3 inches. 5 times 3 is 15, inch times inch is inch squared. So the area of this one would be 15 inches squared. Now, for the volume of the prism, volume is going to be three-dimensional because the prism is three-dimensional. So we're going to do length times width, and our third dimension is going to be the height. So let's take a look at what one would look like. And I'm going to use the same rectangle as our base, as the bottom of it, 5 inches by 3 inches. Let's make this into a prism, make it three-dimensional. and let's give it a height of four inches. So now, the volume we know is going to equal length times width times height. So we're going to fill in all our dimensions. Our length is going to be five inches. Our width is going to be three inches. And the height is going to be four inches. Five times three times four is going to be 60. An inch times inch times inch, since we have three of them, that's going to be inches cubed to the third power. So I went ahead and I drew another one right here. Go ahead and try and do this one. Use this as an example. See if you can get it. Press play when you think you have it all finished. Okay, so for this one, hopefully you got the right answer. Again, we're going to do length times width times height. And when we put those values in there, we have 9.5 meters times 5 meters times 3 meters. Well, 9.5 times 5 times 3 that's going to equal 142.5 meters and since we have meter times meter times meter it's going to be cubed to the third power. So the name of this section was volume of prisms that means we have more than one prism to learn about. The next one we're going to go on to is triangular prisms. Let's take a look. Okay, so before we learn about triangular prisms we have to make sure that we know how to find the area of a triangle. So. Remember, the formula for the area of a triangle is one-half times the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle. And I made this a lowercase b and lowercase h on purpose. You'll find out why in just a little bit. So let's draw an example of this. Let's say I have a right triangle, meaning it has a 90-degree angle. Let's say we have height of 6 feet and base of 8 feet. And the truth is you can mix these up. It doesn't matter when you put it in your formula. So we have area equals one-half times base of the triangle times height of the triangle. So that's going to be one-half times eight feet times six feet. When we multiply all these together, one-half, remember, is 0 0.5 times eight times six. We end up getting 24. And since we have feet twice, our units are going to be feet squared. So now, for the volume, of a triangular prism, we have the one half times base times height, which gives us the area of our base. And then we're going to multiply by the third dimension, the height of the entire prism. So let me show you an example here. We're going to use the same triangle, same 90 degree triangle, the right triangle, six feet, eight feet. And to make it a prism, Go ahead and do that. And let's say the height of this prism is 9 feet. So our equation says volume equals 1 half times base of the triangle times height of the triangle times height of the prism. So we have 1 half times 8 feet times 6 feet times 9 feet. And when we multiply, 1 half is 0 0.5. So we have 0 0.5 times 8 times 6 times 9 and we end up getting 216 and for our units we have feet 
three times. So this is going to be feet cubed. Alrighty, let's have you try one now. Okay, so I went ahead and put another problem here, and I left this right there if you need to look at it for a reference. Pause the video. When you think you have it done, press play. Alrighty, so for this one, remember, volume is one half times base of the triangle, height of the triangle times height of the whole prism. So we have one half times eight meters times 10 meters times seven meters. Now, the truth is, if you mix up these three numbers, and I did this on purpose just to show you, if you mix up the three numbers, you're still going to get the right answer. Even though this is height of the prism, putting it here doesn't affect my answer at all. So, 0 0.5 times 8 times 10 times 7, that's going to end up being 280. And we have meters times meters times meters, three of them, so it's going to be meters cubed. If you got all that and you got that right, you should be set for this section. All right, see you in class, boys and girls.